The undefeated, undisputed UFC lightweight champion 28-0 Habib Nurmagomedov comes in at number 8 in MMA junkies of the decade list. Few fighters in history have been as dominant as Nurmagomedov who has ran through all competition in the UFC lightweight division en route to capturing the coveted prize. But it didn't come without adversity for Nurmagomedov who was plagued with injuries early in his UFC career. After compiling a 6-0 record, picking up a big win over Rafael dos Anjos, Magomedov was on the brink of 155-pound contention, but a series of knee injuries kept him sidelined for two years, seeing multiple fights with Donald Cerrone and Tony Ferguson scrap. He was set to finally make his return in a rescheduled bout against Ferguson at UFC on Fox 19 in April 2016, but this time, it was Ferguson who was forced out and replaced by newcomer Daryl Horcher. Nurmagomedov battered Horcher in a one-sided beating, taking him out in the second round. And this would be the start of Nurmagomedov's dominance in the lightweight division, where in typical fashion he was able to maul the likes of Michael Johnson and Edson Barbosa, which finally led to a title shot, a fight for the vacant lightweight title, once again versus Tony Ferguson. But in a freak accident, Ferguson was forced out, briefly replaced by Max Holloway who couldn't compete due to weight issues, and then in a surprise turn of events, Nurmagomedov ended up facing Ally Quinta. The Eagle would pick up another dominant win, defeating Iaquinta by a unanimous decision and claiming the lightweight title. His first title defense came against the notorious Conor McGregor who was actually stripped of his title due to inactivity in what would become one of the biggest grudge matches in UFC history. The lead-up got ugly with McGregor taking numerous personal jabs at Nurmagomedov, but Nurmagomedov was able to get his revenge, submitting McGregor in the fourth round in another dominant performance at UFC 229. Finally, Nurmagomedov took on then-interim lightweight champion Dustin Poirier at UFC 242 in Abu Dhabi in a title unification bout, where he picked up another submission win. His pressure once again proved too much as he was able to control Poirier, choking him out in the third round, notching his second successful title defense. So with no career blemishes and array of dominant performances, the reigning lightweight champion Nurmagomedov was an easy pick for top 10 fighters in the decade.